Making a note here that uh, just a few minutes ago here at 1020, uh, Governor Scott had a phone call with President Trump as they discuss what's happening with Hurricane Irma. And from the Keys to the Carolinas, people are keeping a close eye on Irma's track. In Jacksonville Beach, some of the scars from Hurricane Matthew are still obvious. Channel 4's Ethan Calloway is joining us live near the Jacks Beach Pier, still closed for repairs. Ethan? And Kent, people here in Jacksonville Beach had plenty to say, not just about the status of the dunes or the pier, but also about the potential impact of Irma. If it's coming my way and it's a cat four, so long I'm out of here. Jacksonville resident Karen Sheets putting it very directly. Her nephew Michael doing the same, explaining his hurricane plan. He's full has got a whole week to get out of town. If you know the hurricane's coming, leave. I mean, that's the reason why we're still out. We leave when they tell us to leave. Irma's potential impact has many here reflecting on Hurricane Matthew. Places like the Jacksonville Beach Pier haven't changed much since Matthew moved through. I was kind of surprised to see that it wasn't uh, repaired yet, going on almost a year now. So The city of Jacksonville, which operates the pier, has said it could take up to two years to repair it, with about 350 feet still missing. Well, I guess it's good that it's not fixed yet then. Uh, maybe they'll have a little more repairs to do, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. I think we're, most folks who are from here are kind of used to this and we'll roll with it. The dunes are also a concern with recent renourishment projects just taking shape. Still, people like Sheets say there's no need to worry yet, just stay alert. I've lived here since 1967. And I've moved to Florida Hurricane comes, hurricanes go. You just... You, just have to pay attention to the weather right. and and pay attention to what you're told to do and follow directions. Yeah. And because of the Labor Day holiday, city officials were not able to get back to me about the status of the pier, the dunes, or Irma's potential impact. We are live in Jacksonville Beach tonight. Ethan Calloway, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Ethan. And Governor Rick Scott declared a state of emergency for all of Florida's counties. The governor said Hurricane Irma is a major and life-threatening storm, and Florida must be prepared. Also, Attorney General Pam Bondi activating the price gouging hotline. State law prohibits extreme increases in the price of essential commodities, such as food, water, hotels, ice, gasoline. If you suspect gouging, you can call that number on your screen. It's 1-866-9-NO-SCAM.